Hey guys, so I hope you had a great Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, I just want to do my favorites for the year 2016 since I had a lot of um, products that really stood out to me. So I want to share them with you guys so you can have a feel of what's good out there and you can maybe try these if you're looking for a certain product. So Let's get to this nine products that are my all-time faves for 2016. So the first one being Olay Fresh Outlast Cooling White Strawberry and Mint Vibrant Fresh Skin All Day Body Wash. Now this, guys, is amazing. Um, I just um, randomly picked this up because I'm always trying different body washes. Um, to see because my skin's very dry and I need a good moisturizing body wash. Now, I absolutely love the smell of this. Like, this just smells like nice, warm strawberries, like crisp, not too overpowering or anything like that. And the scent lingers with you throughout the day. So, I love this product. Um, I'm absolutely attached with the smell of this. And it's, I don't find it very moisturizing, but then again, it doesn't really really claim that it's moisturizing but I love it because of the scent and I will continuously pick it up. The next one I have is a detangling spray. Now this is from Pantene Proveen. It's just their serious repair detangling spray. So it's just in a little spray bottle and it has the cap. Now my hair gets so tangly after a shower or anything like this so this really helps with my hair. I just use it, I spray a bunch in my hair and use a wet brush and brush it through and it seems to work pretty good. And I love the smell of it. Like it doesn't have like a really um, chemically smell. It's just like kind of like, like fresh, like you cleaned your hair. The next couple are face related. Now, the first one I have is Bioderma Sensible H2O. It's basically like a makeup, I use this as my makeup remover, and this stuff is tough as can be. Like, this will take off, I just with one, I just take one of my cotton rounds, and I put some of this stuff on it, and I take off my eye makeup, my mascara. So say you have makeup on, at the end of the day, you take a face wipe and wash it off, you wash your face with your favorite cleanser, and then you use this. This will still pick up any grime, dirt that's left behind as well. This is very great stuff. It's very expensive. I get this from Shoppers. It's like 30, I think this was like 30 or $40 because this is a larger, um, this is 500 milliliters, so this is the larger one. You can get smaller ones, and you can also get a tiny travel size as well. But honestly, guys, this is so worth the price. I don't like any other makeup remover. Like, I will use the makeup wipes to get the gist of my face off. But this is a must for anything. This is the old, just a recent fave for this year. It's called the Old Heinrichsen Sensitive Skin Nurture Me Soothing Cream. It's basically a face moisturizer. And oh my god, guys. Like, this is very good moisturizer. And I love the scent. It's like... Like sweet vanilla, well not vanilla. It's like I don't know. It's a very like it smells like a food. It's very nice. I love this. Um, the next one I have a fragrance. One time I went to the mall and I spritzed on me this Dolce and Gabbana the one, and I just put it on my wrist and I walked around the mall. Um, and then I kept smelling my wrist and I'm like, what does that smell? I love it. I was so drawn to it. And it was this perfume that I had on. So I had to go back and get it and, um, put it on. And I love it. It's a very sweet smell. Um, if you don't like sweet smells, you're probably not going to like it. But it's very, very, um, very, very highly rated. Like, this is a really good top seller. It just comes in the square rectangular bottle. And then the top comes off like this. So if, you, if you're looking for a new perfume, I definitely suggest this. Next one, I have an eyeshadow brush. So I recently been dipping into Sephora's eyeshadow brushes. And this is just a blender brush in the Pro Smoky Crease, it's called 31. Um, I absolutely love this brush. It's just got like basically, it's just a rounded tip. It's very soft, and it's very lovely for blending. I always do my crease in this. Um, I blend out completely. I use this for a lot of things, and I think it was $25 at Sephora. 
the next thing I'm going to say is, um, is lemon lip balm. It's called, you can get this at Bath and Body. Um, it's by the brand Co Bigelow. And I love this stuff. I always, um, apply it maybe like twice a day. Um, I feel like it prevents cold sores, so it's a good thing to keep in your pocket. And last but not least, I have Kat Von D's Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in Double Dare. And then the newest one that I picked up was called Echo, and it's a dark blue color. I absolutely love these. I have these on my lips right now. And they stay on all day. They don't move. They don't transfer. I've been sipping out of my glass and still no transfer, no nothing. And finally, the last one is Dior's Lip Glow um, Balm. Now I love this. This is a very um, pricey product. I think it was 30 or $40 for it. Um, it just comes in this tube that comes out. And this is in the shade uh, 004 Coral. I believe there's a couple different shades of it. Um, but it's great if you're on the go just to touch up your lipstick. Like I just put it on like five minutes ago to brighten up my lip color. It's done pretty good. Or it can be used as a moisturizer, but I don't find it moisturizes very well. It's just more of a good touch up um, on the go kind of lipstick. That was my favorite products of 2016. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments below of your favorite products for 2016 because it's always good to know different products that you guys like as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and give this like this video a like if you liked it and be free sure to subscribe for more videos. I post a video almost every week so stay tuned for the next one. Anyways, bye guys!